Okay, this is Paul, uh, Inventor or Inventor 3. Um, I'll show you the setup I have now with my antenna. Uh, before I do that real quickly though, I'll update you as to what has been going on since the last video. Uh, let's see, while we're doing this you can look at my neighbor's beautiful lawn here. Uh, it's his birthday. Anyhow, uh, since the last video the antenna was at 26 feet tall and it was approximately 60 feet length of antenna going out on an angle uh, we reached 15 volts um, actually we reached uh, 18 volts after the video stopped I wound up picking up the circuit with the uh, digital multimeter uh, connected to it picked it all up uh, with by the probes and held it up over my head pulled the wire a little tighter and uh, we got 18 volts so been uh, looking for and that was at my friend's backyard so and that was a very elaborate long setup there to, to stack all those boards and pipes together and tape them together and uh, so I've been uh, trying to do it at my own house uh, just been uh, practicing in my own backyard with a 12 foot doing some experiments with 12 foot high board it's only one inch square by 12 foot high uh, and I stuck it and mounted it into my patio table where the umbrella goes an umbrella stand and I did some tests like that at my house uh, uh, using a copper uh, plate at the top of the board at the end of the antenna and also uh, trying a uh, 18 inch diameter metal sphere at the top of the pole uh, they both increased the voltage just slightly but nothing to squawk about so uh, in the meantime I'm trying to get a better setup over here at my father's backyard he has a little more room um, this is where my lab actually is so I would prefer to have it set up over here so let's continue I will show you now the setup that I've just done. If we go up this tree, we're 22 feet high. There's the antenna wire. Uh, I have uh, many layers of black tape around my wire. Uh, the antenna wire comes off. And just to let you know right now, I came out with some very negative uh, outcome. Uh, not did not get the results we were hoping for uh, so we actually it goes all the way from the tree all the way to that board actually it starts on the right hand side of the board I'll show you in a minute goes up to the tree branch and then back down to this board and then down the board and into the lab so I will show you the other end of this post over here First of all, it looks like the wires over here, uh, where the heck are they if you could see them at all, through the trees here, where the heck are they, there they are, but they're all tangled up right now, birds must have uh, flew into it or something, but anyhow, here's the pole, this is the beginning of the wire, starts on a screw that I have mounted to the side of the wood there, uh, wound uh, a lot of black tape around the screw to insulate it uh, goes up to the tree and then back from the tree to the opposite side of the piece of wood here a rubber insulated hook with a lot of black tape again it goes down actually goes right down on this side here it is not touching the sign it goes all the way down the post to another hook here right sneaks right in to the corner of the lab without touching a blade of grass we'll go inside the lab or should I say Paul's world of wonder Imagiland USA baby everything in here makes the mind work there's the hook inside 
rubber coated and plus uh, electrical tape around it okay I come up here goes through the center of a wooden doll right up here over my head oh, let me turn around here uh, where are we there it is and it goes up to the ceiling runs along the ceiling uh, just hanging by some strips of black tape not touching anything metal but uh, those black strips of tape might still be my problem the tree branch might be my problem I'm not sure I'm gonna have to do some more experiments uh, so yeah the wire goes up there goes over this side all the way down to the circuits over here okay. I also have the ground wire going over there to a ground this is about 18 inches in the ground plus this also helped a little bit too added two large coils onto the ground also but nothing to squawk about the else I came up with out of this whole setup I'm 22 feet high at the tree branch I've got a hundred and twenty feet of wire and all I got out of it was a quarter of a volt so obviously something is wrong or grounding out uh, here are my Tesla coils one there, one back there. This is a Van de Graaff generator. I got the spear that gets mounted up there. Uh, there's a jet heater. Here, let me show you around real quick. Uh, this is neat. Once you get this going, you gotta spin it like that and gyrate your wrist here and get it going. It goes like 10,000 RPM or something like that. There's that uh, ball 20 questions. Might have heard of that. Uh, all different little puzzles here. Solar panel, Newton's cradle, all kinds of mirrors. Big old prism here. Big old. Nice. Fiber optics. Lots of seashells. Big old seashell. Black light. Must have. Oh, got to show you this. Furrow fluid. Okay, this is like a magnetic liquid. It's like ink. Watch what happens when I put it near this magnet. This is a rare earth neodymium magnet. Actually, there's two of them. One on the bottom side of the shelf. Okay, now watch what happens. Zoom in there so you get a good look at that. Oh, look at that. As we pull it away. And as we lower it down. Oops. <laughs> I just splashed it all over. That dang box just fell against my hand. Okay, now that I just told you, it's like ink. Soaking in my skin. Okay. Uh, what else can we show you? Oh, yeah, let's show you uh, the Jacob's Ladder here. Hang on one second while I hold the camera at distance. Well, I would show you, except it looks like the power just went out on me. And this is the first time the power has ever went out on me. So that is very curious. I will have to investigate. Uh, let's see, what do we got over at this side? A bunch of steel chips, all different coils, some spark gaps. Oh, wait. I heard my Jacob's ladder do something here. Okay, until we meet again, this is Paul, signing off.